All right, welcome back. In the last video, we were looking at these um, different scenarios, these beam scenarios, and, and what would happen um, if we applied uh, some type of loading at certain places. Now, we came up with all these K values, right? Is this KPP, KQP, and there's 36 different values. Now, since we want to put this in some type of a, a clean um, form to where we can use these values and, and use those values to solve the problem, uh, we're going to take all these K values, all these 36 values, and we're going to put them into a matrix form. And this matrix form, or this matrix that we're going to come up, um, is called the stiffness matrix. Okay, And this is kind of the basis for uh, the stiffness method, right? Because computers use this stiffness method, and we want to learn how we can do it by hand. Um, so we want to put all these k values um, in, in matrix form. Now notice that each diagram has six different things going on. There's six different k values um, that correspond to the degrees of freedom um, in each of there's six degrees of freedom, right? P, Q, R, S, T, U. Um, so since each one has, uh, each diagram has six different values, um, this matrix that we come up with um, is going to be a six by six matrix. Um, this matrix here at the top is going to be P, Q, R, S, T, U. Okay. And here on the side, um, it's also going to be P, Q, R, S, T, U. Now, I'm going to write all those K values here. And these, um, the subscripts on these K values up here on this diagram correspond to um, the row and the column. Um, so in this video, um, you can actually probably skip past this part. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write every single one of these K values. Okay? K, 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 K. There's going to be so many Ks. Um, and we'll write the subscripts after that. And there's a certain way we read matrices, right? We always read matrices, or if we wanted to find like a certain spot in a matrix, um, we always uh, read these matrices um, from row first and then the column, right? K, 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 K. And if you don't want to listen to me use up time, you can probably just skip past this part. But here I'm going to label all these rows based on um, the degrees of freedoms here on the right side. So this entire row here, um, it's the P row, right? P, 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 P. And this next one is Q, 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 Q. This next one is R, R, R. Remember, you can skip past this if you kind of know what's going on. S, 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 T, 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 T. U, 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 all about U, U. Okay? And then I'm going to label the columns next because we read matrices or, or certain um, spots in matrices, we read them row first, then column next. So this next subscript is going to be all the columns. So this is going to be P, 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 P. This is going to be Q, 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 Q. And um, actually, if you know where that sound is when I say Q's in line, Q, 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 um, let me know. I'll be very, very impressed if you know where that sound comes from. R, 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 and that's a pirate, right? S, 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 that's a snake. T, 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 I guess that's green tea or something. U, 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 and U, okay? So there's a few things. Um, and this matrix is called a stiffness matrix, right? So K, I'm going to write I for element I. Um, this matrix has a few uh, cool things about it. Notice that here on, I'm going to do this in yellow because you can probably see past it. Um, here on this diagonal, notice that all the subscripts are the same. P, P, Q, Q, R, R, S, S, T, T, U, U. 
And then also notice that this matrix is completely symmetrical along this diagonal. And this diagonal is actually called, um, oops, uh, this diagonal is called the main diagonal or MD, right? Notice that this is also um, symmetrical about this, this diagonal here. So here you have you have a, Q, a PQ, and then here you have QP. Um, here you have QT, and then here you have TQ. Here you have UT, here you have TU. So the, this matrix is perfectly symmetrical um, about this yellow main diagonal. And these are actually uh, stiffness values. Each of these 36 values or K values are stiffness uh, values. And um, I'll write the values, actually I'll write them right here. So again, I'm going to put this matrix down. But this time I'm actually going to, instead of labeling uh, the rows and columns PQRSTU, I'm going to write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I'll explain in a little bit uh, why I do this. Three, four, five, six. So each of these k values has um, each of the k values is a certain stiffness uh, value, and I actually won't derive where these values come from. I may do another video explaining where they come from, but for now, all you need to know to do the stiffness uh, method is that these values um, are as follows: four e i over l. 2EI over L, 6EI over L squared, uh, negative 6EI over L squared, 0, 0. The second row is 2EI over L, 4EI over L, 6EI uh, over L squared, uh, negative 6EI over L squared, 0, 0. This one here is 6EI over L squared, 6EI over L squared. Um, then you have 12EI over L cubed. And then here you have a negative 12EI over L cubed. Again, these are zeros. Uh, negative 6 EI over L squared, negative uh, 6 EI over L squared, negative uh, 12 EI over L cubed, uh, 12 EI over L cubed, 0, 0. Um, and then you have 0, 0, 0, 0. And then you have um, AE over L negative AE over L, 0, 0, 0, 0, negative AE over L, and then finally you have AE over L. And again, this matrix is also um, symmetrical about the main diagonal, which is, well, assuming this was kind of straight, this actually goes like this, right? It goes here, here, and then it kind of it's like that. Sorry, my numbers aren't straight, but you get the point. This main diagonal, um, all these values are symmetrical about this main diagonal. Notice another thing. There are no zeros or negatives along this main diagonal. So when you're doing these problems, if you come up to, if you look at the main diagonal and um, you notice that there's a zero, there's a negative in it, uh, then you may want to go back and recheck um, recheck your problem because there shouldn't be any zeros or negative values on this main diagonal. Um, and another check you can do is make sure all the rows or all these values um, are symmetrical about this main diagonal. So this 6EI, oops, 6, uh-oh, it's not writing. 6EI is symmetrical uh, to this one. So you have 1, 3, and then you have 3, 1. That's symmetrical. All these values are symmetrical about this main diagonal. Okay, and 
Um, I'll actually show you in an example problem how we use the stiffness matrix because right now I just kind of gave you these values but in another example we'll go ahead and use the stiffness matrix to do a stiffness um, example. Um, in the next video I'm not going to start an example I'm going to show you a few more things and then in the following video uh, we'll start an example and I promise that all of this will make a lot more sense than it is right now when we do an example problem, right? The best way to learn is through examples, all right? So see you in the next video.